Welcome back, my loyal subjects, to more Extreme Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth. Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we made it to 29F. Honestly, it was just barely. But uh, in the meantime, I went ahead, I tried mapping out the parts of the uh, Imperial Bridge that we'd already explored. And uh, we really just got to hope that <laughs> Ramas takes pity on us. So let's report. I mean, what rather. Would you like to do? Which will you register? That's unfortunate. Nope. Dang. All right. What would you? I'll be here. Oh well. So I guess we didn't. Uh, we couldn't get too lucky. Got to explore. Um. The floors more. Ugh. Dang it. But uh, we also had the pleasure of um. As you return to the Imperial Brig. Okay. With that done, we can get back to our regularly scheduled Odyssey. First things first. As per usual, we've got to summon Sky and Land, and also have Morgan prevent us from taking damage. And then also, switch her to Arcania's Orb. Okay. Thankfully, we can begin from here. Hmm. I was honestly expecting for there to be an FOE in this room. There is. God dang it. Okay. So obviously you've got to get the heck out of dodge. Seriously hope that... Well. Nope. Ugh. Okay, so this, uh... Already gone pretty bad. At least the... Birds are just gonna mimic while our front line just kills everybody. Ugh. You'll uh, you'll notice that Nils is actually in the front line. This is just something a little different we're trying out. In between this uh, the previous episode and this one, we did get the uh, dang, we did get the drop for the ultimate scythe. Nope. All right. Somehow it healed, I guess it healed back up to full some kind of way? Even though it didn't heal nearly close to that amount. What was that, 11,000 or, or 112,000? It was probably 112,000 that popped up. But, um, yeah. That ended very quickly. As, a <laughs> as our excursions into the higher floors, I guess we're getting close to the highest floor. Nears. But jeez, dude. Okay, so we can go right back up to 28F and pretty much do the exact same thing. Hopefully we don't get caught out. Obviously we've got to do our uh, summons and shuffles. <sighs> Let Arkin back into the party with uh, thankfully just those two clicks. Hound whistle. Then we can levitate. Then we can switch out the equipment. Arcanius orb. All right. So now we can return to it in earnest. Or, uh, actually, we might want to. Yeah, I think we're going to. Yeah, get into a fight really quickly. Um. Honestly, I don't really. Because these parrot things. We have not had the best luck fighting them. Yeah, I think. Uh, oh, crap. There we go. Good stuff, Morgan. But uh, Nils, he's not... Nils isn't super extra... Hmm. We've honestly just got to get to that door. Wow, that was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Alright. Let's uh, not miss an opportunity to map that out. Oh, a green one. Okay. In this case, you can go ahead and just drop those. And that's it. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump in. Send this back down to 27F. And Alright, so we've got another purple one. Ah. There's another... I guess we have to... Yeah, what is that lead? It doesn't look like it goes anywhere super interesting, but... Okay. 
Okay. I should probably start leaving myself notes. 26F. Jeez, dude. Uh... Well, there's definitely that sense of progress, though, so that's always good. We got this. Then we got this. This one's purple. And then that one is orange. So this should take us down to 25F if the pattern holds up, so... Let's go. No. Oh, man. All right. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna rush right back to that particular, uh, spot, but that's gonna take me a second, so. Alright, and so just like before, we've managed to make it to the, uh, warps without very much incident. Actually, we did take a little bit of damage here, but thankfully... Alright, Nils, he's, uh, not in the back of the, he's not the last one in the back line anymore. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a bountiful herb into healing. Thank you. Or maybe three healing herbs probably would have been best, but... You know what? I'm not really worried about being economical with this TP at the moment. Okay, so now we're not about to make the same mistake. Let's do this. Crap, okay. So, this... We can only go one way or the other. Or actually, what am I doing? Crystals for those. And that's purple. Uh. Let's. Is this the one that's gonna take us back down? Yeah. No, this one took us back up. Oh, wow. Okay, so it was yet again another trap. Ugh. All right. What the heck? Okay, so we died, and now we've got to actually run back to the thing. The teleporting rooms, obviously. But this, Night Witch. Mm -hmm. This is actually kind of scary, because as per usual, I'm fairly certain we're probably not going to be able to... Well, actually, yeah. Alright, let's try it this way. And how about a concussion for her? Nils, he'll just attack. And then she can double attack the Night Witch. Into... Uh... How's about a Focus Chanted Thunder Break? Yeah. And he'll just attack as well. But anything to, like, keep them off of us. Okay. Wow, that Night Witch can take a beating, dude. Well, Pergus knocked. I should have known not to try to fight it, dude. <laughs> what kind of BS is that? Okay. So, I guess, just like before from here, we get to... This is like the fourth time I've died in this one episode alone, dude. Crap. I should have known, like, the Night Witch and then seeing the Mimic Eye Eye in the back, it just wasn't going to turn out to be anything that was worth it, but... Still had to go for it. Now we, like... <laughs> at first it was up in the air whether or not we should run away from that thing, but now we know for certain we should definitely not be fighting any Night Witches. At least not in any parties with Mimic Eye Eyes. So yeah, Sky and Land, welcome back into the party yet again. And we can equip her with the Arcanius Orb. And just like before, we're gonna get into, yeah. We always get into a battle, like, in this particular room. Yeah. Hopefully we can get out. Just need to not all die here. There we go. Bryce MVP. I'm sure being max level really factors into that. Yeah. As long as they... Oh! Well, no. Because this is going to aggro them to us, isn't it? Yeah. It probably will. Unless we can get out of this in this turn. 
definitely should have healed up. Yeah. That's on me. Oh, for the simple crime of not healing up when we should have. There we go. Though, uh, I think... Yeah, Nils was definitely among the dead. Okay. We... Well, we're still in this mainly for exploration purposes, so I guess... And dying again really isn't going to set us back. Wow. All that much. But when both of those things have been aggroed... Oh, man. All right. I guess we just get a... If we can't run away, then we have to just reset on death. And yeah, there are rare breeds in the herd, but not anything we're interested in fighting. I actually am surprised we got away from that. So let's let them reset. And then make sure that they... Yep. Don't see us. Okay, and now we should be able to get to wherever these uh, warps are leading us to. Hopefully without too much more fanfare, too much more dying. Level uh, 26F, rather. And then we want to do this. And then it's going to be this way instead. All right. So we've got a ton of different options for us to warp. Why are we running through a labyrinth within a labyrinth? You can't seriously be surprised. We're supposed to be getting to the real end of the end soon, right? I guess. Jeez. Things couldn't have just ended when we beat the big terrifying demon? As per usual, nothing's ever easy here. Dang. I'm kind of, uh... Honestly... Ugh. With no way... To know where these are gonna lead us. I know, well let's start with a purple one. Here it is. We know it can't take us back down, so that's good. What color do I have already? Orange? Alright, so we got one orange there at the very end. And then we've got one orange, two to our right. And then we've got a green. Yeah, uh oh. Alright, let's go. 27F, so this one took us... Ah, okay. So, uh, let's mark that off. How do we get to mark that? Uh... 26. Which we don't want to do. Oh, I did it wrong. There we go. Okay. So that's how we're gonna know that that's not one that we want to take, but I'm gonna have to get back into that uh, spot, so you guys have to give me a second. Okay, oh, so we've made it back to the gauntlet, I guess, of teleportation rooms. Go ahead and move down here and over. All right, so it, these turned out to be total busts. The orange ones, this one is probably going to, like, the one on the right. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to lead us to a spot we've already gone to, so forget that. The, I guess we'll do this green one next. Hmm. Alright. We will not be doing that again. Uh. Dang. I guess. I mean, now's as good a time as any, right? Yeah. Let's see what these things are all about. Mounting horror. And this is the real body, even, so... Uh, let's try a concussion. I have a feeling that whatever this thing can do, its head is gonna be the main focus of that. Maybe Thunder Break, and then he can Aegis Prayer. We're actually doing more damage to it than I would imagine we would. We got the leg seal. Ah. So, uh, Nils got insta-killed. Hmm. That doesn't bode well. Doesn't bode well at all. Okay, let's try, yeah, concussing it again. Um, 
keep going with the Thunder Break, and then this time... A Focus Prayer, yeah. Okay, so that's the Head Seal, which doesn't really help us now that our healer's gone. Legs have sealed, so it does have something that, like, its legs can do something that we really don't want to happen. Um, well, we'll wait to corkscrew. How about, yeah, Bolt Prayer. Nice. Didn't get very many hits off, but it's whatever. Um, it's still trying to do something with its legs. But I guess we can live with that. Uh, okay, so now we're going to switch Bryce to Corkscrew because its legs are no longer bound. And now we can... Yeah. Dance Oracle. How's that? Oh, just the one? I'm actually not certain what happened there. So that time it tried to use Inferno again, which would have been yet another death sentence for one person, I assume. Hmm, I wonder why I only consumed his bull prayer. Oh, because I used the wrong thing, obviously. So that's on me, definitely. There we go, nice, now I can't do anything. I, or might have still been able to go because it's it said its head was sealed rather than it was paralyzed All right, target arrow um, Next we'll keep going for the low blow yeah, Double attack with juniper Okay, and now we can actually do the correct attack Okay, so that went well Nice Good old double attack. And we still got the five off. As long as it remains paralyzed. Power shot, low blow. And then he's gonna bolt prayer again. Uh, we're going to keep Bryce's tri shield up for the turn it comes off of paralysis. Icicle. Whoa. But Alright. So I guess it's got Inferno, Icicle, and then some type of Bolt attack that... Inferno insta-killed Nils, but it only targeted one. Icicle hit everybody in the party and was way too much for us to handle. Mm, to be completely honest with you guys, I've, I'm getting the impression, and I'm probably the last person here, like among every like you guys watching too, I'm probably among the last person here to recognize that the game is probably intending for us to not still be level 70 at this point. Like, uh, it expected us to have taken care of the Dryad already, or something like that. But the Dryad? Oh my gosh. Those heals. That was just, that was such, like, I'm still feeling the obnoxiousness of that fight even, like, a month and a half later. Skills. Summon Hawk. Summon Hound. Also, we want to levitate. And switch her to Arcania's Orb. And also, because I've got plenty of these Warg Chimes, and I've had them the whole time, I just haven't been very uh, smart about remembering to use them. But they get us through this first room just fine, and that's all that really matters. Yep. Alright. So that's yet another um, warp that we're not worried about. Paths lit by heaven. Jeez. So we're not going to step onto that other green one. Hmm. Yeah, the green one just the that orange one is probably just gonna take us to a spot directly in front of it. So I guess this blue is up next. Okay, so this is the... This looks like a normal area for this type of environment. For the Imperial Bridge, to be specific. Um, if we step on this... Let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is probably gonna take us up here, so I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna leave that one where it's at. Go ahead and I'll levitate us again. So next we've got these two, one right here, and then one over and up one here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Both of these should take us to new spots. Hmm. All right, let's go with this one first. And then this is gonna take us, okay, so this is gonna take us back down then. That's fine. We know more and we didn't lose too much. So I'm always on board with that turn of events. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step onto this one. Okay, so this one leads to a purple warp. We're not gonna mark those ones off because they're not obnoxious traps. <laughs> Flowering branch, reverse tree, one. tripod cedar, another. and another tripod cedar. Okay. That's from mine. There we go. All right. Whew. Let us go for this. All right. So this one should take us either up or down one, but it'll keep us out of a fight, so. 27F. Oh, okay, so this one took us to a new spot. Hmm. This place looks like there'd be FOEs. Nope. No FOE skulking about. Just delicious, delicious. Somewhere we've already been before. Oh, okay. So that's this thing, just from the other side. Hmm. Okay, so just like before, I guess. We learned more. Not too much um not too much in the way of Huh? Wait. So coming at it from a different direction did something different. Hmm. All right. Well, I was not expecting that, but I guess it could have been worse. We've got a green one here and an orange one. Can we reach that green one? Oh yeah. Hmm. And there's a purple one right behind it. We can't actually access the purple one, which is clear, but we're gonna do the orange one first. This seems like it would, um, by default, take us back up to 29F. Okay, so let's see if that checks out. Yeah. We made it to 29F. A spot we've already been to, though. Hmm. All right. Let's start searching. Another... So the checkered, oh wow, hold on, before we forget, blindsided, oh we're dead. Damn it. Yeah. Not yet. yeah. Never surrender. Before we do this though, 28F. Oh. You gotta mark it off. 
so we know not to do that again. Can we please get out of here? No. They got me. Crap. It seems this is where my war ends. All right, so I guess let's get back into that situation. All right, so we're back to the lineup of different ways we can go. What is one, two, three, four, five? It looks like this is just gonna take us to a different spot up there. Uh, I guess. Well, this time, and I guess those, all that new stuff we discovered because uh, another one. yeah. Another. Because we died, we don't have the checkered boards anymore, but... Oh well, that's just how it works out sometimes. Head right back up, and this time we're gonna go for... The green instead. We have one step left. Alright, levitation. Let's go. Definitely not trying to just end up, uh... Right back somewhere we can't really... Progress with. Oh, this also took us to 29F. And a new spot on 29F. Hmm. So that's going to take us right back down. Obviously, we're not about to step on that. We will mark it off, though. Alright. Oh, this is a new part. One that we can actually do a little bit of exploration in. That's a change of pace. All right. First, we're gonna see what's behind this door. Oh, uh, well, we wanna mark this off, too. Hmm. Lots of FOEs. Is this just a dead end? No. Yes, yes it is. Okay. So it looks like this, that can be accessed from a different side. Oh well. It's not anything we've got to worry about at the moment. First we're gonna place this here. Then go through. Ah, it's one of these. Thankfully, now we're free of it. Unless it's some sort of puzzle to get closer. Okay. So, uh, well, first we're going to get into a fight, then we're going to think through this. Hopefully. Okay, nope, we are not about to hang around for this. The Mimic eye eyes, we can't, we can't kill them fast enough. Okay. We will, however, be having Nils heal himself. Okay. So... We could try to brute force this. Mm. But let's, uh... So we step through and it comes towards us. Hmm. Is it? Like, if we haven't moved one spot closer... If we haven't moved one spot closer, then we try to move it one spot up. I don't think, because there aren't... Oh, I was way overthinking it. Hmm. Nope, there's definitely something back there for us. I guess we lure it. I didn't even, like, I, I didn't even see this. I thought there were just the two spots up there, which is why I bothered in the first place. Oh, whoops. Okay. And so now if we do get through this, then I'll have wasted my just brute force attack. This isn't good. Oh my, you must be lonely. All right. Oh. 
Let's give yeah, it a whirl. Like Keep it up. Make sure we don't all die. Go now. They're so fast. Uh oh. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can do it again. Okay. So we just all need to try to escape. Oops, I failed. Crap. Nil oh, we still managed to do it, though. Even though I think moving Nils to the back is probably going to be the smarter idea than what we've been doing. Because this guy, he is dying way too often in the front, which just leaves us completely in the lurch. Um, can we just walk over there? Hmm. And I don't mind, uh, I don't mind having to do that every time we go through this, but... Like, escaping is definitely fairly reliable. Especially compared to how things were in the previous games. But not being... But him dying means that we're hosed. Like, we can't really do as nearly as much exploring as I would usually like to. Uh, yeah. Whoops. Uh, hmm. So in order to get to that other one... Well, first we've got to not die here. Oops, I failed. We're oh, my. Huh. oh, nope, there's the glacial tail. Didn't put anybody to... Oh, right. I was about to celebrate the fact that it didn't put anybody to sleep, but I forgot that the mimic eye eye was just gonna... Oh, Bryce got out. Hmm. Uh... This one should work a little better in our favor, though. It won't cross the poison? Huh. Well, I guess we just learned something. It will not cross the friggin' poison. Ugh. Yep. But there's another gate that we gotta try getting through. Deft. Nope. Unless Bryce miraculously gets away. <laughs> nope. Way more damage than any of us could live through. At least now we know how to get back up here, though. We've got one clear path back up to 29F. Okay, so now we're back up to 29F. We've used this same ward chime has gotten us like we've used it maybe four or five times at this point. It's gotten us through a lot of exploration through this thing, so that's always very helpful. Does this same does that mean it also won't step onto this? Well it Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, that's fine though. Everybody just run. And this time we've actually got our unions. Oh, Juniper! Very first person to try it does it. Now we can go up. And hopefully. Over. As in, here's hoping this isn't a dead end. Nope. Ah! More FOEs. But this does look like a room where there'd be plenty of progress to be made. There's a second one. Hmm. Where are the exits? Is that one? Yeah, I think there's... There it is. Hmm. I see. I guess let's just go for the pro strat. All right, everybody, get out of here. They're so fast. Uh oh. Hmm. All 
right. Oh, hey there. And they both have to still, uh, there we go. Aha! And the pro strat works once again. So reliable. There we go. That has our name written all over it. Aha! Though now we definitely can't die. Aha! Alright. Well, that was good. Wait, is there a second one? Hmm. And passable from this side. Okay. So there's still more for us to uh, struggle through, but that's fine. Hmm. Let's start searching. Checkered board. We, we got him again. And uh, in the interest of not fighting like like one row of mimic eye eyes and then another row of something else. Let's go ahead and use the items, inventory, Ariadne thread. Ugh. Farewell. Alright. So definitely wild. I don't think we we didn't really fight a single battle this whole like this whole time. It was mostly just repeatedly trying out different warps on the thing, but you know what? We explored more of 29F, we made it easier for ourselves, so we can just directly head up here next time. But we will be calling it a part here, so definitely join me then for more Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth. Bye for now, guys.